Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Esther Kai Kai Memorial Outreach Children's Home. My name is Masri Young, and I am the founder of this organization. I have been in Sierra Leone for literally 11 months and two weeks, and I cannot wait to show you everything that we've been able to accomplish in that time. I want to draw your attention to the fence that we have put in this almost two acre of land. One of the things that was really an issue for us was safety of the children and our staff. We've been able to create this huge fence. It's about 12 feet high. We have gate at the top of the building and another gate at the lower end of the building. Also drawing your attention to the walkway of tiles, we have been successful in tiling about 15,000 square foot of space inside and outside. And we still have some exterior spaces that have not been tiled yet, but that will be on the next project when I come back to Sierra Leone. I mentioned earlier about safety. Safety is paramount to us. And here in Sierra Leone, some of the things that you must do in order to ensure, in addition to the fence, is to have security guards. We have security guards at every window of this building. Not just the windows, but also at the main entrance and the back entrance. So I am proud to say that we have done what is humanly possible for us to ensure the safety of the children. You can see that the building is painted. I'm really excited about that. We've painted inside and outside of the building with the exception of three rooms. And the reason those rooms were not painted is because they house a lot of the children's space and things that we'll need once we disperse things throughout this building. I have given so much time to security and safety, but also the welfare of the children. We've ensured that in the time of me doing all of this building, we ensure that they have great quality education. 80% of our children are in private schools, and that's because the, um, the government school system is not that great. So we have to invest in their education. We've invested in their spiritual growth, and we ensure that they have three meals a day, every day. I also want to show you some other things that we're doing on the outside of this grounds. Over there, um, Brian, if you can um, turn the camera to this building, this is an exterior um, bathroom. We have three bathrooms and a shower. Because we know these, we have a lot of boys, 19 boys and six girls. They're not always gonna run inside the building to use the bathroom. So we have started our outside bathrooms for them to be able to relieve themselves while they're out here playing. And also, there is another building to the side of this bathroom, which is going to be a storage facility. When we ship things to the United, uh, from the United States to um, Sierra Leone, we don't want to crowd the space for the children. So we'd like to have another place where we can store some of their things. And so this is what this is here. Alongside to that building is a small area that we have created for our chickens. We want to be able to have our own eggs and save some money by having some livestock and our chickens for the children to have fresh and um, healthy chickens to eat. Now here is the building for our goats. We lost one of our um, goats yesterday. They just had a baby. Um, she's got, she had two kids and she passed away. And we're really sad about that. But we are now providing everything that we need to be able to provide safety, not just for our children, but also for the staff and the animals. I would like to take you inside so I can show you um, some of the areas that we have um, completed. So stay tuned as we walk our way in there. Okay, so let me take you inside the building and show you what we've accomplished here. Um, this, of course, is the main foyer. We still have a few things that needs to be done here. Um, but as you walk into the main foyer, we will have 
a receptionist area to the left of me, and to the right of me would be our office, which was first supposed to be a security area, but we quickly realized the security people should be outside and not in the building. And as we speak about the things we've accomplished, it would be unfair for me to not tell you what we need moving forward. There's supposed to be a door here at the entrance. So far, we have no doors with the exception of the, the security guards in the front and in the back. But we also have to have doors that will separate the foyer from the main area for the children. And this is our receptionist area. This is where anyone that visits would wait until they are welcome in, if they are supposed to be in here. Now let's come in, it's a little dark. That's another issue we're dealing with right now. We do not have electricity. Electricity has not come to this part of the, um, the city yet. So we need to have solar system that will be able to power about um, 16,000 square foot of space, this, this building and also um, the animal areas that we have here. This is the kitchen. We have done concrete countertops, islands, because we know we're dealing with children. We need something that will be durable, that they will not be able to destroy. So the only thing left to do here is to tile this. That is my plan coming back next year to, or maybe the end of this year, is to bring tiles so we'll be able to tile this area and to have cabinets and a stove which has not been purchased yet. This would be one of the dining areas over here. Um, it's large enough to maybe hold maybe 12 children. And this is also another area for the children to dine. Now, Brian, if we can draw their attention to the ceiling. We still have not finished doing the ceiling because we have issues with the way the zinc was installed. We have dealt with leak for over a year and a half, and I was not going to have our um, ceiling or gypsum board, as it's called here, or sheetrock, as we call it in the States, installed knowing we spent almost $20,000 to have sheetrock and then have the rain pour. So we've just started our rainy season in Sierra Leone. We're going to observe and fix the areas that have leaks so that we can properly do the ceiling for the children. We basically have passed all of the electrical cables. As you can see, we are yet waiting to have our solar system so we can have electricity. Now, this is gonna be sitting area for the children. And here, to the back of me, will be a music room for the kids to express themselves. We are looking forward to people that will volunteer from guitar to drums. We have a donation of drums, but there are so many other things that we want our children to be able to learn. Um, not just education or spiritual growth, but to just have social skills and, and of course, to grow in that way. Now, um, to the top of the stairs is the girls' spaces. We have a space for the girls and a space for the boys. By the way, we're going to have this painted white as soon as this is um, anti-rust paint to keep the metal from rusting. And then tomorrow we'll be painting this white to match the top. Upstairs will be the girls' section. And it's sectioned off to where the boys will not be able to come into the girls' area at night and the girls will not be able to go to the boys' area. We have doors here and this door will be shut at night and everyone will stay in their respective places. Come with me to the lower level so I can at least show you one of the spaces. This is the boys' level. It's not extremely clean down here and there's going to be echo because the place is empty. But let me at least show one of the bedrooms. Let's come to this side um, so they can see the size generator to light up this space. 
Let me show you another area which is an extension of the bathroom. Here we have the sinks. We have three sinks here and one bathroom. And this will be the bathroom that the caregiver would use. We don't want them sharing bathrooms with the children. So the girls have the same um, things made up to where the caregiver will have a space for themselves. But the children will get to use this because we have, like I said, 19 boys and they need to have an area for themselves. Now, this is the main bathroom. We have three additional sinks. And to the right of me will be a storage area for them to have their towels. And as you walk into the bathroom, we have two urinals over here for the boys. It's been already unplumbed, of course. Um, it's just a matter of us getting the urinals put in place. We have toilets that have been installed. And showers. We just have to do, do the shower heads and the knobs. And that will complete the boys' levels as well. I'm going to take you to the very back of the building and show you what it looks like from that side. From the inside kitchen, we have an outdoor kitchen. It would be impossible to have a building in Sierra Leone without an outside kitchen because we cook with charcoal, we cook with wood. So it needs to be, there needs to be a space that we can cook, especially in the rainy season, without having to go outside. So once again, here we'll have sink for us to wash dishes and we have drainage here so, I um, mean, the water can go down and it would actually go outside of the building. Um, it's a really, really nice area. Once this is finished, it's going to be really beautiful. This is the door that is our security door for now. And this will keep things um, protected and private. And we'll have another door right here as you enter the building. Now, let's get down to the stairs. This is the back side of the building. To my right is where we have desired, um, designed for the security um, person to be. We still have to do the roof and we have to put glass at the door and the windows. And um, I think they will be comfortable there. And I absolutely love this building from this angle. Really, really beautiful. We get to have breeze because Sierra Leone is rather hot. So we made sure we designed it in a way where if someone is cooking out here and they're using charcoal, they will still have air and not feel suffocated. This is one of the, the bad bedrooms that we actually have for a staff member that would be on the grounds, separate from the children, not having to share the same, um, basically space with the kids. And um, that's one of our boys. This is one of our local way of cooking. Uh, Morrison, hi. hi. He's cooking some rice. And so this is what we do here. And this is also another outside kitchen, the local outside kitchen that we get to enjoy. I've actually enjoyed spending time outdoors more than ever before. I'm not an outdoorsy person, but Sierra Luna has actually changed me. Now you see all these dots? When we were building, we had to build our own scaffolds, which were sticks. So once the, um, the sticks were taken out, we had holes that we had to fill. So that will be sealed eventually. So, I mean, basically this is what we've done so far. You can see the grounds and know that we still have work to be done. We need at least 3,000 bags of cement to be able to level this ground and get things working for the kids so they'll be able to play and move around freely without any injuries. Once again, I want to go back and say some of the things that we need. We absolutely have to have light, electricity is paramount. We need solar panels and, and the solar system, and we also need a backup generator. What we also need for sure is transportation to bus the children from this village to their schools, which is about maybe 20, 25 minutes. Right now we're doing that in a, in a um, Toyota car. 
that can only hold six people. So we have to make multiple trips if we are to come from this location to school. Doors, we need doors in everywhere, basically bathrooms, kitchen, bedrooms, all of them need doors. Um, what else do we need? Tiles, we need to tile, we need to finish our kitchen. We have quite a few things to do. Um, and we need to raise funds to take care of our staff and the needs of the children. They are in really expensive schools, but we know that this is the investment we have to make for the children. 11 months, four and two weeks has been a long time <laughs> by no stretch, but it is for a great cause. It is an opportunity to watch the lives of these children become everything that I know God has for them. We know we are making a great impact in this country. And when it's all said and done, we will have 25 amazing children and counting that will have the future that God designed for them. So I wanna thank all of the partners who have worked so hard with us, who have been continuing to see that these children have all that they need. May God provide for you and your family. And you can go to our website and support us. Um, our website is www.ekmoi.org. Again, www.ekmoi.org. I plan on returning to the States in about a week or two. And I look forward to seeing all of you who have missed so dearly. And of course, my husband, who has been diligent in helping us to making sure this project is what it needs to be. God bless you. And I hope that you make it a great day.